So this is a major infrastructure project for public transport in Northern Ireland. We're going to have eight platforms uh, coming into Belfast Grand Central Station, which is double the existing platforms uh, coming into Belfast. We're going to have 26 bus stands um, right across uh, the station here. Um, and again, that'll increase the capacity for a bus network. So that rail and bus capacity will significantly increase the infrastructure and the public transport capability right across Northern Ireland. Um, we'll also be moving the enterprise, the Belfast to Dublin enterprise, from Lanyon Place around to Belfast Grand Central Station. Um, and again, we have plans to bring in a, an hourly frequency um, service um, whenever the station opens next year. Um, and again, that will double the capacity in the Belfast to Dublin uh, line as we currently look at it. So significant benefit to public transport right across Northern Ireland, uh, but also significant regeneration opportunity for Belfast in terms of we'll have 20 million people coming through this station every year, an opportunity to regenerate all over the area uh, around here. And we've already got a master developer with MRP working with us on that. So the development will be 1.4 million square feet when it's completely built out. So that's releasing about 150 to 200,000 square feet per year into the Belfast office and market space. What that will create at its end is around an extra 8,000 people working and living in this part of the city. But right at the centre of it will be this multimodal transport hub that will effectively connect us both into Europe and into the south of Ireland but also connect us around the network and out into those rural areas. So you could work in Portadown, Lurgan, up in Derry, up, uh, across in Castle Rock and still get to a job in a highly efficient time. So that really expands the opportunity and helps with that levelling up place right across Northern Ireland. Yes, yeah, a huge project for Translink and indeed for Northern Ireland. Um, it has been going for around five years now and uh, we're getting to the stage where it's very visible what can be seen and uh, we're getting close to the end of our construction period. We've been through a lot of challenges there through COVID and some of the challenges around that and delivering uh, a project in the midst of that. So uh, there has been a lot of challenges along the way, but we're currently on track for uh, delivery of this major project by the uh, hopefully opening by the end of next year and then uh, completion of the overall scheme by the end of 2025.